Billy Starks, in a very creepy manner, to work his way to round two, and Charles Mason has Jordan Oliver as his opponent. Changed his shirt, but for some reason put the jacket back on. Yes, and I is. don't understand it. I don't understand a whole lot about Charles Mason, to be honest. I know I want nothing to do with the guy. Introducing first participant number one. He is the root of all evil, Charles Mason. I was saying I'm interested to see how this match plays out, and by that I mean yes, it seems like there's a Styles class between Jordan Oliver and Charles Mason, but. Billy Starks is very similar to Jordan Oliver in high energy here, athleticism. Normally, in that first round match, I think we would have seen something like that, but that was very personal. That was very hard hitting. Now I wonder if Charles Mason's gonna have to contend with someone with the high speed energy of Jordan Oliver. It looked like a very different match than that bout against Billy Starks earlier. And much like Bailey was Suffering an injury coming out of the first round against Gresham. Jordan Oliver also the worst for wear, heading into round two. Ready to go. Jordan Oliver was in the opening matchup on session one earlier this afternoon, so he's had the most time to uh, Cover. But it was quite a match that he could try to cover from. Face Alex Shelley in it. And introducing the, the opponent. He is the East Coast Ace. Best matches on that first session today. Of course, if you missed it, Speedball and Gresham certainly won to watch out for. It was the tie-breaking match in their series here in Game Changer Wrestling. Mason and Oliver. about three and a half hours between shows and he was in the opening match so he's had about six hours so that actually might bode well for jordan but you know you never know when an inter injury is going to just pop back up collar and elbow tie up here and mason's still wearing his jacket i, I don't it, it, i don't get it either the little monkeys with the symbols there's a little of that going on Shove out of the corner from Oliver. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if, if Jordan's willing to uh, put up with this creepy behavior of Charles Mason or try to dictate how this match is going to go. Right, because Mason doesn't necessarily have a, the personal connection to Jordan Oliver that he's had with many of his victims here in GCW and JCW, but he does have that way of just kind of weirding out anyone. And Oliver needs to stay focused on the tournament not on Charles Mason. I like the way that you put that, his victims. Not opponents, not fellow wrestlers. Have you been personally victimized by Charles Mason? No, but that's certainly what he's been doing to everyone. Again, going for the lockup. Jordan in control. 
Wrestling circles around Mason, brings him down to the mat. Certainly seems like Jordan's energy levels have not been affected by already wrestling once today. Oh, oh but a big boot from Mason. Takes away that high energy of Jordan Oliver. A boot across the throat in the corner. Shot to the midsection, and again, Oliver trying to mount some offense here. Back and forth now with punches. Working their way back toward the center of the ring. It seems pretty even right now. Oh, Going never to the mind. Eyes. And he, Mason is also biting at the face of Jordan Oliver. Every single shortcut possible, Mason is taking it. Lining up the chest of Oliver. Oliver doubled over in the corner. Mason right behind, lurking, if you will. Another big chop sends Jordan stumbling. Jordan's, yeah, Jordan went all the way down off that chop. Into another corner now. Mason putting the bad mouth on him as he continues to dish out the punishment. Having hold of the arm of Jordan Oliver, whipped across the ring into oh. the corner, follows him in with the clothesline. He lick his face. Yeah. Back into the corner, comes in hard, but wait, over the top, rolling through. Only two. Out of the corner, big hip toss from Oliver. Through to the midsection, to the shoulder as well, the drop kick. Combination, Mason to the floor, Oliver follows. Yeah, I think Mason was scampering away. I don't know that he even saw that Jordan Oliver was right behind him. Yeah, Jordan not letting him run away from the fight. Not letting him just bail out of the ring. Where? Where? Oh, uh, there he found him. <laughs> Sending Mason back inside. Mason to hide. Jordan loading up that power. Trying to get it, but oh. the spat right in his face. Oh. And thrown into the corner. And again, wrenching the arm. And that shoulder was picked apart by Alex Shelley earlier in round number one. And now Mason just stomping away on it. Unbuttoning the shirt. Oh, Jordan Oliver, I think, still is having trouble seeing. Yeah, whatever that was. I mean, who knows? It could be water. Who knows what that was? Cutting his vision. He's got the injured shoulder. And now, just punching away on Oliver in the corner, Charles Mason. Starting to get up. Laying in some chops. Mason reverses the whip. Oliver off the ropes. It's taken down by the elbow. Arm in hammerlock position. Elevated now. Oliver suplexed down to the mat right on his own arm. Yeah, again, that is that injured arm. So Charles Mason, we know, was paying attention earlier in the show. Yes. Kicking that arm, stalking oh. Jordan Oliver at this point. Oliver still trying to shake out. I can't tell if it's all in the shoulder. By, by now, it's probably just vibrating down the entire arm. And Mason, oh! Has his boot right in the back while pulling on the arm. Using the ropes, I think, just for a little extra leverage. If we're trying to lay down the laws, they are in the ropes. Tearing apart the shoulder of Jordan Oliver. Oh, it's not, it's not, 
It's seen a fish hook. Fish hook with one hand. Elbow right across the top of the head of Oliver. And again, even though this is a tournament match, you, know, you, wanna, you would think you want to get victory as soon as possible because you have more matches fighting. Charles Mason just seems to, it's like he can't escape his inclinations to just prolong the torture. He, he's had several opportunities where he just allowed Jordan Oliver to, to suffer rather than try to pin him. Yeah, there have been no pin attempts. Grabbing hold of the hair now, just measuring him for another punch right to the top of the head. Yeah, Mason, uh, he might want to win this tournament, win the J Cup, win the championship, but he also just loves torturing people. Whoa! He's a sick man. Oh, Oliver catches in the uh, side slam. Got good elevation on that, good impact on the maneuver. And has Mason down now, could give Oliver some time to dig down, get back to his feet. He has the support of these fans in Jersey City. You can almost feel Jordan Oliver feeding off the energy. Jordan's back up to his feet, but so is Mason. Blocks the attempts by Mason and lands several of his own. Jordan Oliver just firing away, backing Mason into the corner. Oliver's still going to work. And that adrenaline's really flowing. Referee has to pull him off of Mason in the corner. Mason starting to pull himself up by the ropes, but Jordan Oliver's right there. Knife edge chop from Oliver. Follows him into the corner. Tosses him overhead with the suplex off the ropes now. Acid kick from Jordan Oliver. Leg hooks. Only two somehow Oliver able to get the shoulder up. And that, or excuse me, I, that Charles Mason. By far the closest pinfall in this entire match. Still not enough though to keep Mason down. And Mason crawling towards the ropes. It was a small package that earned Jordan Oliver the win against Alex Shelley in round number one. Trying to grab hold of Mason, who has his arm wrapped around the top rope. Looks like Jordan's trying to hook those arms for a potential Tiger suplex. Yeah, Mason though, fighting it. He wasn't able to get the maneuver earlier today. Due to the damage done to his arm, I don't know if he can get it now either. He's trying to turn him over. Mason is fighting this. But Jordan's got him. Oh, Mason breaks out. And again, too much damage done to the arm. He immediately clutched his shoulder right there to Jordan. Trying to go for the Cleopatra, but Mason saw that coming, moved out of the way. And plants Jordan right in the middle of the ring. Cover. Oliver kicks out. Very impressive flurry of offense from Charles Mason, who again, as you said, in the end, does want to win this tournament. It seems now he's focused on that goal a little bit more than earlier when he was just, just relishing, torturing Jordan Oliver. Trying to cut off the circulation here. Oliver trying to fight through it, though. Oh, doesn't quite have the hold cinched in to make Oliver pass out. He's back on his feet, up on the back now with that sleeper hold. Oliver is staggering. Oliver trying to decide where to go with him oh. into that corner, frees himself from the hold as he drove Mason back first into the turnbuckles. But he's back up and back on the back. I don't know how much more of this Jordan can take. Oh! Through the ropes and to the floor hard. Oliver just wiped out 
on the apron. Mason down on the floor. Yeah, Mason really flew, almost forced into a, a dive onto nobody. Onto no one. Referee checking on Mason's condition. Out on the floor. Oliver trying to pull it together. Oliver's managed to get up on the apron and there finally Charles Mason. Is he He's smiling. smiling? Like a deranged person. Speaking of deranged, Jersey J Cup. Solid shot from Jordan Oliver. Oh, Charles Mason, though, fires right back. Oh. Overhand chop. <laughs> Series of forearms from Mason. Super kick from Jordan. Mason, Mason looks to be out on his feet. He's just holding himself up by the rope. Goes to the oh. eyes once again, taking away the vision. Elbows from Oliver, trying to fight off the shoulders of Mason. Sent into the ring, into the show, Patrell. Inverted atomic drop by Mason. Off the ropes he comes, connects with a boot of his own. Oh, oh! Lariat turns Jordan inside out. And now Mason. Oh, Jordan rolls through. Oh. Only two. Oh. Chop across the chest. Oh. Oliver dumped right on his neck. Shoulder up at two and a half. the back of his head and neck. And now Mason with Oliver. Oh, we saw this, this is how Charles Mason beat Billy Starks, but Jordan Oliver out from behind, Tiger suplex. He got sent. Another acid kick off the ropes. Sit out, power bomb. Only two. So, so close. Last cutter. The winner of the match, advancing to the semifinals of the Jersey Jacob, Jordan Oliver. Another look at how this ended the clout cutter off the second rope by Oliver. Got the one, two, three, and uh, guarantees that the worst case scenario for you, Veda Scott, of Charles Mason winning this whole thing. I wasn't gonna stand for it, Dave. Now it's not gonna happen.